Welcome back. So the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya has opposed the recent appointment of Tere Kiyunge Ramadan as the substantive CEO of Kemsa. The society says Ramadan is unqualified and unsuitable to hold the position and about to challenge her appointment in court. The Pharmacist Society has also moved to court to challenge the appointments of Kemsa board members. The society of Kenya is dismayed at the rate the board of management of Kemsa has continued to undermine and disregard the tenets of constitution and a host of public service statutes on public appointments. Section 82A of the Kemsa Act, amended through the Health Law Amendment Act of 2019, clearly sets the minimum qualifications of the CEO of Kemsa. Mr. Yan Kyunge Ramadani does not meet those requirements. In addition, the major function of Kemsa is procurement, warehousing, and distribution of health products and technologies. We find it hard to understand why the Kemsa board would settle out of the raft of candidates who applied, would settle on a candidate who has no experience in health commodity supply chain management. Kemsa is not a political party whereby people will go and negotiate behind the backs of their competitors. It is one uh, organization that is key to the running of this country. KEMSA is responsible for supply of more than 50% of health commodities in this country. We are not just talking about medicines. We are talking about uh, other materials which are used in healthcare management, including beds, hospital beds, bandages, walking sticks, and all that. And uh, if you have a wrong person as a CEO who is head of that, he'll be relying on the information he gets or she gets from the juniors to make a decision, which cannot happen. You see, the judiciary is not headed by a mechanic. The treasury or the central bank is not headed by a teacher. So there's no way Kemsa is going to be headed by I, 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 I. So now away from that and the country 